Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all the latest Fallout 76 news. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for those of you who actually aren't watching the new Bethesda E3 right now, Bethesda just confirmed that there are new NPCs coming to Fallout 76 at the end of the year in their new DLC Wastelanders. And I'm extremely excited for this. I literally started nearly screaming while it was on the TV. I just am so happy. They are also releasing new dialogue and a dialogue tree for this game, and it definitely reminds me a lot about the Fallout 3 dialogue. It lo looks a lot different to what we have seen in Fallout 4, so I think a lot of people are going to be really happy that they're going back to their old roots, and they also seem to have confirmed multiple different NPCs, with some of the NPCs looking like Raiders, for example, the one that's here right now, which I think is going to be really cool. I know a lot of people like the Nuka World quest line, and definitely wanted there to be a lot more stuff to do with Raiders in Fallout 4, and that's why they really like that DLC, so I think that's going to be a really good thing that they're adding into this game, and it gives people more choice whether they want to be evil or a good guy, so that's always going to be real, um, really good, but yeah, they're also adding the new main quest line, which I think we desperately need, because obviously the Fallout 76 quest line is has been desperately criticized for being one of the worst Bethesda quest lines that we've ever gotten, so yeah, this new quest line can't come soon enough, so yeah, we definitely really need this in the game, and what I think is going to happen, and what it seems to be with the trailer is, it seems to be that it's actually going to take place in um, the future than what it is right now, so pretty much what I mean by that is it could take place in like a year, and all the new wastelanders from other areas could start becoming to West Virginia, and that's how we could meet these new people, and yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys might be the first people that we ever um, get introduced to, and then we might have to help them settle in and do all that type of stuff, but there could be also some evil options with that. Maybe we could go meet the Raiders shortly after helping out these people, and they're trying to get to Rose and help her out and do all those type of things. So I think Rose will come back into play with this new quest line because just because of the new Raiders stuff coming in, I definitely think that all these new Raiders will definitely want to have something to do with Rose and even potentially meet her. So, yeah, that's just what I personally think. I also do think the Brotherhood of Steel will probably come back as well. I just can't see them really happening. I think the main three factions will most likely be the Brotherhood of Steel, um, the Raiders, and whoever else these new guys are, just potentially normal settlers. So, that's just what I think. I think I couldn't really not see the Brotherhood of Steel coming back, and it's really set up. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and comment in the comment section down below if you guys are excited for this new Wastelanders DLC, and what do you guys personally think about it, or what do you guys think is going to happen? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions. All the latest Fallout content and just E3 content in general will be coming out, as it's currently on in the background right now, so I definitely want to go back to watching it, but yeah, as I said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.